cannot be saved But for your grace I would go my way I'm forever One of the things the enemy uses is the spirit of fear to bring manipulation Fear and for you, any time you give prophecy, somebody is dying. I mean, what kind of prophet are you? You never prophesy when somebody is not dying. It's either the person having road accident, the person is dying, his uh, business is this thing, his marriage is that thing. Any time you give prophecy, it is something negative. Thank God. I'm waiting for the day you come and prophesy to me that somebody is bringing me a million dollar check. Ah! So we can agree and pray. When I get that money, I promise you I'll give you some. Ah. Hey, prophet's name. Hey, you are dying. Your mother is dissing. And I saw one leg being chopped off. In fact, when I was prophesying, I saw some demons sitting on your neck. And in order for you to be set free from that demonic thing, why? And that is what you like. See, that is what you like. So when they tell you that, hey, Osafo, tell it. We have to go to this. Like, oh, oh, bro, bro, bro. Sis, sis, sis. The word says there must be liberty. Amen. God did not give us the spirit of bondage. Romans 8, 12 says that. He did not give us the spirit of bondage. Or ye have not received the spirit of bondage to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Does it bring you bondage or does it bring you liberty? Amen. Maybe I can end on days, 2 Corinthians 4 and 13. Ah, 2 Corinthians 4 and 13. If you are there, let, let me show you that. We have the same spirit of faith according as it's written. I believe and therefore have I spoken. And therefore we also believe and therefore have we spoken. The word of faith makes positive declarations. What are you saying? Turn to somebody and say, you, you will not die. But you will live to declare the words of the Lord says you your going out is blessed your coming in is blessed anything you touch blessed say your children they will be mighty in the land they will not be wayward your grandchildren will prosper in the name of Jesus Say, I say unto you, this year it shall be well unto you, or it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. I declare to you, this year God will set you aside for supernatural favor. As a person, do you believe it? Say, if you believe it, then receive it. Do you know what you have done? Do you know what you have done? You have just prophesied into the life of that person, making divine declarations because you've spoken forth the word of God by faith into the life of that person. And that is the way it should be. Say to somebody, you are blessed beyond measure. You are blessed beyond measure. Say to the person, you are the best human being I've ever seen. Amen. If you don't believe, you don't say it. But I believe you are the best human being I've ever seen. Why don't you stand on your feet? I believe I've been able to help you today with some truth from God's word. Ah, and lift up those two hands before God. Grace, but for your grace, I cannot.